So the CCM returns tonight. Uh, the second leg of the first round. The round of 16. And this is the leg where teams either advance or teams will go back home. As the case for Austin, they may stay home if they lose. You see, Austin has put itself in a tough situation because they didn't respect the game in the first leg. Because they didn't take the tournament serious in the first leg. They are in a win or go home situation at the moment. Austin is in a win or go home situation tonight because they disrespected the tournament. Austin, you're trying to tell me that you couldn't sacrifice one MLS regular season game just for the CCL? You're trying to tell me that a meaningless early season match against Salt Lake City was more important than the opening round of the CCL? You see, this is what I mean when I talk about priorities. There is no reason why Austin's starters should not have participated in the game in the Dominican Republic against Violette last week. Sebastian Driussi, Diego Fagundes, all of Austin's heavy hitters, all of their top players should have played in that round one game. The MLS have made this regular season schedule and the playoff format in a way that allows every team to sacrifice a couple regular season games for the CCL, the U.S. Open Cup, the Capiones Cup, and the League's Cup. Therefore, I do not feel sorry for Austin for them being in a win or go home situation that they're in tonight. You see, Austin, the biggest mistake that you made was giving the weaker team hope, was giving the weaker team life. When you are the far superior team, when you are the better team, when you are the richer team, you are not supposed to give a poor, less, well, I won't say less talented because those guys look good, but you are not supposed to give the club that is not as financially stable as you life. Because once you give that club that's not as rich as you life, the sky is the limit for the poor club. So as of right now, the sky is the limit for Violet. Their confidence is at an all-time high. And they believe that they can beat any team in Major League Soccer because you, Austin, gave them life. So now, Austin, you enter this match as the underdog. Even though you play in the better league, even though you have a richer owner, even though you have a better looking stadium, even though you have more skilled professional players, you still enter the game tonight as the underdog. Because Violet is a feel-good Cinderella story. So many American soccer fans will be cheering for the Haitians tonight as we watch this game on the CCL YouTube channel or Fox Sports 1 or FS2, wherever the game will be broadcast. You best believe, Austin, that many of us are going to find a way to watch this game tonight because we want to see if the Haitians can pull off the upset against the Western Conference runner-up of Major League Soccer last year. Austin, nobody feels sorry for you because you put yourself in this situation. Look at how LASC played last week against the Costa Rican team. The reason why LASC is the favorite to win it all is because LASC respects the game. And LASC understands that you can afford to sacrifice somewhere between 5 and 15 games this season just to win the CCL. You can sacrifice somewhere between 5 and 15 MLS regular season games to win the U.S. Open Cup, the Capiones Cup, the League's Cup. LASC understands that. Another thing LASC understands is that this is a continental tourney. And in the CCL, champions become legends. I repeat, in the CCL, 
champions become legends. So Austin, you got to send your heavy hitters tonight. You got to send your best players in full force. Now, Violet will not have all their original players from that first leg because of visa issues, but they're going to have some Haitians who already live in America, who already got U.S. citizenship to play in the games. So, I don't know what kind of Violet team we're going to see tonight, but one thing I do know, Violet, is that all you have to do tonight is just play defense. Prevent defense. Your goal, Violet, is to prevent them from scoring three goals. As long as you keep them under three goals for 90 minutes, Violet, you win. Defense, Violet. The same type of D that is played in the World Cup where players just stay on one side of the field. Protect the goalie. But hell, if you want to embarrass him, you want to stick the dagger through the chest of Austin or through the Austin shield, I say score more goals. Embarrass them on their home field tonight and make them pay for not taking the CCL serious in the first round. You, 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 you let them be an example. To every MLS team that think they're so inferior that they want that they want to throw in their next pro and developmental players in the first round of a CCL tournament, to never do it again. Let Austin be the guinea pig. Let Austin be the poster child for that. And as for you, Philly, you play Alianza tonight. And Philly, I want to know what the hell is going on with you. You don't look like that same Philly team that's been playing with fire. You got outplayed by Miami this season, and you needed two red cards from the referees assisting the Chicago Fire in order for you to beat them. Philly, you're supposed to be on a tear right now. You're, supp you're supposed to be playing with so much anger. Because the MLS Cup was in the palm of your hands, but LAFC snatched it from you. You held the lead, but LAFC, I said, oh, hell no. Not on home field. They forced the game to go to overtime or extra time, and they took it from you. So you should be playing with a lot of anger and a lot of zeal. You should be dismantling every opponent that you're playing against, but you're not. You didn't even score a goal against Alianza in the first leg. Jim Curtin, do you understand how important this CCL is for you? Before you go coach for U.S. men, you need to leave Philly as a champion. This is your first global test. You, this is your first international test, Jim Curtin. People are watching you to see how you will conduct your team, how your team plays, and how you will potentially lead the national team against international play. That's why I said a, a magnifying glass is on you, Jim Curtin, this whole entire season. All eyes will be on you tonight. Well, that's all I have for today. Remember, the CONCACAF Champions League is not some preseason exhibition that Austin treats it as. It's a major tourney gives the champ an opportunity to play the Europeans, the South Americans, and the Arabs. You win this tourney, you become the continental champion, which is greater than any MLS Cup, is greater than any Liga Max Cup. It's greater than any League Cup, Caribbean Cup, Central American Cup. The CONCACAF Champions League is a tournament where champions become legends.